G'day filthy animals, Mr. Dirty here with another episode of Bullshit on the GTM Show channel. Uh, today we're going to be knocking out of your request, long overdue. And um, I forget who it was that asked me to do this, but whoever you are, shout outs to you. Um, you asked us to do a, a, a versus, um, or comparison, whatever you want to call it, uh, between the Marishan Yakisoba spicy chicken flavor, which we've already reviewed in the past. And we gave this a high four out of five. And you want us to compare it to the Chow Mein, the Nishin Original spicy chicken flavor. Uh, and this is, of course, from their premium line. Before, when we were doing them, they didn't have the premium thing on there. It wasn't, like, uh, boldly printed. Or they added it, but it was the same stuff. It was just like a, a repackaging. So there you have it, the uh, Marishan and the Nishin. It's basically the exact same uh, you know, stuff going on here. It's spicy chicken flavor, both of these, and they both claim to be hot and spicy with a picture of a rooster. There's their rooster. Bam, there's their rooster. One big difference I do see is just on the packaging here, you know, this one's supposed to be eye-catching and very savory looking. You see we got like orangish noodles. It's supposed to be hot and spicy, so that's what you're expecting. And over here, they've gone with the more sleek, more elegant kind of restaurant-style packaging. You know, the red and black, simple. But the noodles, they don't look very uh, red at all. They just look yellow in the package. The chow mein one over here is rocking in at 4 ounces, 113 grams. And over here, we've got 4.11 ounces, or 116 grams, for the uh, Marichon. Okay, for the Nishin, we've got step one, open lid to dotted line. Remove powder seasoning and savory sauce packets. Two, add room temperature water to the fill line. Three, cook for five minutes in a microwave on high. Let's stand for one minute. Four, remove lid. Mix in the powder seasoning and savory sauce and uh, do not drain. So then you mix it up and then you eat it. So this one here, they've got us putting it in there for five minutes without the seasoning packets. None of the stuff goes in there until afterwards. So we always have a bunch of people down in the comments saying, oh, you did it wrong. We always follow the instructions. Okay, over here, instructions for the Marichon. Open lid halfway only and remove the two packets. Two, open packet number one and sprinkle contents into the space between the noodles and container and gently shake the container. Three, Add water to the fill line, as indicated by arrows. Four, close lid, cook in a microwave on high for four minutes. After cooking, leave product in the microwave for one minute. Then we got five, grab the corners and carefully remove from the microwave. Please handle with care. Product is hot. Number six, remove the lid. Pour in packet number two. Mix in powdered flavoring and enjoy. So this one, we're putting stuff in before and we're putting in stuff afterwards. Once again, on the Nishin one, everything goes in afterwards. Nothing goes in before. Cook for four minutes. Cook for five minutes. Crack these open and take a look at our insides. And there's the Marishan one out of its wrapper. And here's the Nishin one. Here's the two packets you get with the Marishan one. And here's what your noodles look like before they go into the microwave. Here's the two packets that they give you with the Nishin one. And here's the noodles. Notice that they're slightly thicker than the Marishan noodles. Now, I'm going to go microwave these up. It's going to be a little while. Uh, in the meanwhile, since we're doing like a viewer request here, I also want to give shout outs to a couple people. Um, like, I would say they're now family of the show. A uh, couple people from... Instagram that have been sending me artwork, you know, over the past several months. Um, and some of the stuff is pretty kick-ass. So, shout outs to Desiree Joy, and um, also to John Patchy, Peachy. Not quite sure which one it is, but uh, shout outs to you guys. And also, um, a few years ago, somebody sent me an image on Twitter. Um, I'm also gonna throw that in the mix. Also, a mystery person. Um, if it's if you recognize this as your artwork then um, we'll put this one up first. And if you recognize this as uh, your artwork, well, shout-outs to you, mystery Twitter person. Uh, it's been so long I've forgotten, but, um, yeah. 
you know, thanks a lot, everybody, for sending the artwork. We really appreciate that. We'll come right back uh, after I nuke these up and you watch that, and we'll see what we got. All right, stick around. Alright guys, we're back. We've got both of our noodle bowls out of the microwave. Or, uh, one was in there for five minutes, the other one for four minutes. Um, and the, we'll also reiterate that the one, you didn't see like a dry goods package with that one, with like dehydrated vegetables, because uh, those noodles, um, everything was like packaged up and dehydrated with the noodles, which they said was for like one less step. But overall, they look very different, okay? So I'm just going to grab the camera and give you a close-up look at what we got going on here. All right, so this one right here is your maraschon, your yakisoba, spicy chicken right there. See the uh, the noodles, they didn't plump up very much. There's still like a, a nice ramen, like a lo mein kind of noodle going on. Um, you can see that our dehydrated vegetables, you know, they've come back to life again. Very orange. Uh, we've already rated this one, like I said. Um, it's got like a, a moderate spicy flavor to it. Uh, we gave this a high four. Not bad. Over here, as you can see, is the, uh, the Nishin chow mein noodle bowl right here. Spicy chicken, once again, just like this one. But a much fatter noodle. You know, we're dealing with like a chow mein noodle. And then over here, like I say, it's more like ramen. Kind of like lo mein. But yeah, a chow mein noodle going on over here. Uh, a nice flat noodle. Um, there's our dehydrated vegetables. That are once again, like I said on the other one, come back to life. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Would you say it's like the same content, same amount of content? But uh, I will get into this. We're gonna check out the noodle and see what the texture is on that noodle right there. But this one, if we can just grab the fork real quick here, if I remember, it was kind of watery. Still watery? Yeah, still kind of watery right there. Or it doesn't like these noodles. You know, they were already like a thicker noodle. But yeah, it didn't retain too much of that stuff. These have been sitting out for a while now. You'd think that that would have, like, if it was going to suck any more of that up, it would have happened by now. Over here, what do we got down here? Not a whole lot. That's pretty dry when compared to over here. Big difference there. All right, let's go back up top. All right, the first one I'm going to hit up right now is the Marichon because um, I just want to refresh my memory on what exactly I gave a high four to. All right, down the hatch with that one. It's spicy right off the bat, and there's a lot of vegetables in this. You know, if you mix it up, you get like a little bit of some kind of like onions or cabbage, something, in every bite on this one. A decent amount of pepper flavor on that, for sure. Plenty of heat. All right, hitting up the one that we haven't had yet, uh, which one was this? This was the uh, Nishin spicy chicken. So let me just get like a bunch of this stuff on the hook here. I'm we'll going on that. All right, down the hatch. All right, this one doesn't have the spicy flavor. It's more mild. There was like a savory packet that we put in there, as well as um, dehydrated like uh, pepper. This one doesn't have the pepper flavor. It just has um, the savoriness. Like a uh, roasted chicken with soy sauce. This kind of flavor I'm getting off of this. There's a mild heat to it, but not like the other one. The other one will tear you up and kick your ass. So I'm like three, four bites in, and I wouldn't say that this has like a hot and spicy kind of level to it. Um, it's got a kick. That's about it. This one tastes like the Asian market smells. I wouldn't say that there's as many vegetables in the Nishin one as there is the uh, yakisoba from Marishan, but you know, you get, you get some. They just don't stand out. They're not as flavorful. One more snap at the Marichon one. Okay, so there's a reason I gave this one the high four, for sure. This one here, the Nishin, you know, like I say, when it says spicy chicken, I'm looking for that kick. And if color was anything to suggest what we were going to get, you know, in comparison to that one, you know, this is pretty much what I expected. It comes off as mild. It's kind of lackluster. 
to be honest with you. Um, this one, I could eat it, you know, I might pick it up again if they had like a super killer deal, but not if they were having a super killer deal on the Marichon one right next to it. But this will do in a pinch. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. Alright, so there you have it. It's the uh, spicy chicken flavor of the Nishin microwavable noodle bowl. And over here, you know, once again, back on the show for its second time, the Marichon Yakisoba spicy chicken flavor. Check both of those out if you want to at your local grocer. So that's a wrap. I'm Mr. Dirty. This is Bullshit on the GTM Show. Don't forget you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.